Hello kids, today we shall learn about mixtures and separation. Imagine you come back home after playing on a summer afternoon and you find that your mother has made some refreshing lemon squash for you. That would be really nice, isn't it? What is lemon squash made of? It is quite simple to make it. Cut and squeeze a lemon to get its juice, add sugar and water to it. So few things or substances are mixed together to form a mixture. Here it is lemon squash. The lemon squash consists of three different substances that is lemon juice, water and sugar. What does 1 kg sugar contain? Actually just one component that is sugar particles only. If you observe carefully all the particles of sugar are similar. We cannot differentiate one particle of sugar from the another. But yes, a particle of sugar is different from a particle of salt in appearance and as well as in taste. So we can say sugar is a pure substance consisting of single component and it has its own specialities and a definite composition. We mix a few pure substances to make a mixture like we added sugar, water and lemon juice to make a drink. The lemon squash will reflect the properties of all the components present in it. Like the squash will have the sweetness of sugar, sourness of lemon and of course the coolness of water. The lemon squash was a desirable mixture which was created by us. And generally substances are not found in pure form. Sometimes, by chance, foreign substances get added to the original substances or at times it is done purposefully, say for storage or for transportation. So, mixtures are commonly found everywhere. We wouldn't try to separate sugar from a drink, say lemon squash, but will you ignore if the water you drink has impurities? Obviously, we need to remove the impurities before it is usable. So. Mixture is not always desirable. Also, when mixture is either harmful or useless, we need to take out what we need or throw out what we don't need within that mixture. Isn't it? Like remove the impurities from water or remove pebbles from the grains etc. Not only harmful mixture like impure water, sometimes useful mixtures can also be unwanted. For example, curd is useful for us, yet people churn the curd to get butter from it. This process of removal of impurities or undesirable substances from various types of mixture is called separation. When mixture is undesired, can we carry out separation in same way or more than one method is required for different kinds of substances? Let us find it out. Children generally don't like red chilli in their food. So, while eating any snack, say poha or upma, they just pick chillies by hand and put it aside. Similarly, at home too, before cooking rice, your mother removes the unwanted pebbles or any other substance from the rice by hand picking. As the number of pebbles is very few, and it is easy to differentiate pebble and rice grain just by appearance, we can handpick the pebbles and throw away. But can we use this method if too many pebbles were there or if the pebbles look just like the rice grain both in color and shape? No, then this method won't be of any use. Similarly, can we separate pulp from the orange juice using hands? No. Of course you can try but that will be very messy and you won't be able to separate all the pulp. So the easiest way would be to use a sieve or cloth as we use in the case of tea to separate the tea leaves. The separation was possible using this method because the mixture has two different components. One is liquid that is orange juice which can pass through the cloth or the sieve and the other is in solid state that is pulp which won't pass through the cloth or the sieve. So which technique needs to be used for separation depends on many things like the type of mixture, is it solid, liquid or gas, the nature of components say the shape, color size, solubility, their concentration, etc. Hence, there are different methods to carry out different types of separation and 
one method cannot be used for all so now you know what is separation and why separation is required for the mixtures in our day to day life bye bye kids